Hey guys, back with another X Squad tip. I am with the man Cody Morris. We are at CrossFit 116 in Hazlitt, Texas. And Cody's been having some back and hip issues. And yep. so we're gonna work through something that's gonna create some traction uh, in, his, in his lower back. And it's gonna help out with the hips, can help with range of motion, help improve some of his range of motion. And the way we're gonna do it is what we call a poor man's way, right? Because we don't have a belt squat machine. Nope. Very, very few uh, gyms do. Want to. Yeah, it'd be nice, it'd be super nice, super convenient. But because we don't, we're gonna show you how to do it without one because very few of us have $4,000 for a, uh, a belt squat machine. So we're, <laughs> we're gonna make it happen. So what we got is Cody's got a uh, dip belt on and he's gonna go ahead and hook up. He's got a 70 pounder here. Now, Cody's a uh, accomplished athlete, that being said, I, if your back's super tight or otherwise, I wouldn't work too heavy too early. Um, being that Cody's the man, we're gonna start him off at 70, and he's also done a little bit beforehand. So now he's set up. It's important to note that his toes are uh, to toes are pointed forward and his, his stance is close together. We don't wanna be in a squat stance for this one. Now from here, what he's gonna do is he's gonna to touch each shoulder with each hand and across, and then from there, what I'm gonna have him do is he's gonna do a partial good morning. So he's getting a little bit of range of motion there while this is pulling down, and then he's gonna come back up to neutral, and now he's gonna go back. There we go, and he's gonna get a little bit of the hyperextension there. Now he's gonna go right side, and then he's gonna to try to touch that elbow or point that elbow to the wall, right? So the wall behind him is what we're looking for. Now what I'm gonna have him do is I'm gonna have him continue as I'm talking, but one of the big points that we want here is we want him to slowly build on that range of motion. That being said, we don't want him to go too far, especially on the good morning, or too far on the back portion. There we go. Because if he's already having pain there, we don't want to make that pain worse. But his goal throughout each piece is to increase his range of motion little by little. Eventually with the good morning, he's gonna go about 90 degrees, which is where we want it to be anyways. And he pushes that backside, which is good. And he's gonna turn, and he's trying to reach a little bit further each time while keeping his feet flat. He can have bend in the knees, that's fine. And he's gonna go through this cycle about four to five times. Now, as Cody gets better with his range of motion, he can increase the load and then start back over. Three, four, five sets. And again, this is gonna help with traction. It's also gonna help to reduce pain in the low back and in the hip area. And this is a great way to prep yourself for training and or make sure you're recovering right. So I personally have been using this for a few weeks now for pre-workout and sometimes post-workout or in between. If I just need to, again, take care of my back, it's made a big, big difference for me. So Cody, thank you so much. He crushed it, made it, made it look good. <laughs> uh, but we appreciate it a lot. And again, this is a poor man's belt squat and it, ideally not necessarily belt squat like belt squat machine but this is a way to help out the lumbar help out the hips and hopefully improve range of motion overall do you feel better or worse the same i was definitely better okay uh, i feel uh honestly it would actually be good i didn't think it would be good for a warm-up i thought more post game just thinking about it but uh, i mean i know we don't like to mess with the hip like lower back area too much but i think it might actually if you're struggling with that like if you have lower back issues, I think it might be, just thinking about it for me, I think it might be a good alternative just to kind of get your hips and everything right in, in line before you, before a workout, so. There you go, you heard it from the man first, and if he says it, you should be doing it too. Yeah. All right guys, thanks a lot. Peace. Peace.